Hello everyone, I am Arslan. I'm back again with a new tutorial regarding modeling of fiber metal laminate composites. So what is fiber laminate composite? So fiber laminate composite are a thin metallic sheets that are bounded together using a composite layer. So the, what is the effect of this composite layer on the metal? As we all know that metal are very ductile. On the other hand, this fiber uh, reinforced poly uh, composites, sorry, this composite like CFRP and GFRP are very brittle in nature. So the addition of this, comp this CFRP to the metal increases the tensile strength as well as the ductile behavior of the aluminum. In this study, we were going to we are going to assess the effect of layer orientation on the overall strength of this composite and what is the effect of this and how to model this FML step by step. This the orientation of this this the, the orientation of this composite is are under. So we are going to model this layer two specimen and this sequence indicate A4 0. The first layer is A4 which is aluminium with a thickness of 0 0.4. Then there is GFRP with a layer of with the layer orientation of 0 degree and then again GFRP with 90 and then again aluminium and, and then the sequence goes on. The overall thickness of this uh, composite is 3.7 millimeter. Now how to model this thing in abacus in abacus the bond between different layer is modeled using cohesive zone approach or using traction separation law while composite gfrp is modeled using hessian damage criteria using a subroutine miju mat while aluminium is modeled using a ductile damage criteria with the help of fracture strain stress stressibility and fracture energy in the next step, we'll, we'll go and we'll see that how to evaluate these models step by step and how to get these factors step by step for each of these uh, part instances. Now, these are the details of the aluminium. Aluminium in this paper, they have used aluminium with different thickness, but we are going as we, are, as we want to validate a model. So we'll go, we'll pick a single model and we'll validate its result. So the thickness that I have chosen is 0.4 mm aluminium and the layer thickness, I have, the layer, the composite layer uh, stacking sequence I have already discussed earlier in this video. These are the material properties of this uh, composite as well as uh, the aluminium layer. So, in the next step, so the numerical modeling procedure consists of they have evaluated uh, the GFRP and the GFRP is bounded inside this is bounded together using the uh, aluminium layers. So this is the modeling response of aluminium, and these are the prop properties that we are going to use inside our Hessian damage criteria in order to model this GFRP composites. And the delamination, which is modeled using traction separation laws, the factor of de uh, uh, the traction separation fraction of the, this, uh, the cohesive interface, like the bond behavior between the composite and between the aluminum, the properties are as under. And these are the, this is the flow stress response of the aluminum. Based on this flow stress response of aluminum, we will evaluate the stress strain response as well as the the ductile damage parameter like fracture strain, stress triaxiality, and the fracture energy. Similarly, the, these are the uh, different. In this paper, they have basically used different criteria that like, they have used 2D continuum approach. They have used 3D modeling approach using a visual mat. So our focus is using a visual mat. So we'll directly focus the only those part of the paper that are uh, in, uh, those part of paper that have used the visual mat subroutine. So these are this is the orientation. These are the meshing sequence and everything, uh, and these are the final results. Now go to now. Let let me show you the how the modeling procedure will go on. So basically, this will start with uh, defining the aluminium the geometry, the geometry, the length and the width of the specimen. As so, basically, we are. Uh, doing a quarter symmetric model, so I have only modeled the one by four part and assigned the symmetric boundary conditions to it. So this is aluminium layer. This is GFRP zero degree orientation. This is GFRP with ninety degree orientation, and this is the holding plate used for pulling out or for uh, applying the tensile load. 
Similarly, this is the material for ductile damage, this fracture strain, stress fragility, and strain rate. This, this uh, parameter I will tell in detail in the video or in the, in the complete tutorial that how to get these parameters from the stress strain curve of the aluminium 2024. Similarly, this is density elastic modulus of the aluminium. Then toward the GFRP, so this is GFRP and this material parameter. This taking sequence is model the, the detail of material properties are these uh, these properties are modeled like the sequence of these properties are is uh, uh, the GFRP is modeled using a Hessian damage approach using a subroutine. Now the, the sequence of these material are as under so young props one is young modulus E one young modulus two two so these are the sequence of this uh, these properties and one thing is very important that this pre-mat is based on the instant damage approach uh, and this is the same approach that they have used in this paper. Then toward the step definition everything then again in the interaction module let me show you the, how the thing is assembled. So this is basically the assembling sequence. So this green portion is basically aluminium and this white portion is GFRP with zero degree orientation and this red, red portion is with 90 degree orientation. And this is the uh, composite sequence and then again toward the cohesive response I have used the cohesive uh, zone approach in between this layer in order to model the delamination. Similarly the holder is modeled as a, a rigid material and it is used as a uh, to pull the uh, this specimen. Similarly for the boundary condition I have used the I have applied the cement, uh, the load toward this point uh, I have applied this load in the form of displacement and evaluated the results. Let me show you the results for the, so let me again show it, it's, uh, I think, um, okay. So let me sh uh, change that to full symmetric model so that uh, you can get an idea of how to uh, change that uh, quarter symmetric model into a full model for better visualization. Okay, so this is basically the full model and I have defined the, I have defined the data orientation and the center and then by using the model view or DB display option and mirror pattern command, I have changed that model, quarter model to a full model. So it's basically the same. Uh, with the symmetric boundary condition. Now let's see the failure response uh, by seeing the uh, state dependent variable for each of these. Let's first scroll to the aluminium layer. So these are the aluminium layers. Uh, let me change that to the ductile damage criteria. To, let me change it to stresses. So we can see that this, after the certain after a certain limit is reached, the material start failing and you can see the material damage over here. Similarly for the composite layers, let me show you for the GFRP zero degree orientation. So for the zero degree orientation you can see, so in order to visualize the effect of this, uh, the damage of the GFRP zero degree, we need to see the output parameter of this subroutine. So this subroutine have some sort of output parameter that I have already called in the abacus material model using a depor command. So the first one is damage fiber in tension. So let's see the first one. So at the end of the uh, this one. So we have got no fiber. Uh, yes, after a. So this is the fiber damage in the. Um, so this is the fiber damage in compression, and this is the, and the third one is the fiber damage in the tension and the fourth fiber is fiber in the compression. So these are the damage of the uh, damage response of this uh, GFRP zero degree. As we all know that this is the overall composite is completely damaged. The zero degree composite is completely damaged while for the 90 degree, let's see it again. So the 90 degree is also got damage per the, uh, the the instant of damage is very less as compared to that uh, zero degree orientation. Uh, this came to a conclusion like we can conclude that if you want to add a composite inside the aluminium then the layer of orientation for a such case should be kept at 90 degree as the in the damage instance uh, the, uh, the instant of damage is less for 90 degree as compared to zero degree. 
let's uh, compare the stress strain response so i have already uh, used uh, several nodes at the center and i plot the stress strain response let me show you the stress strain response of the plot so these are the stress strain response this uh, at the center point let me combine them to what the let me combine them to get the overall response so combine strain versus stress so this is the response of aluminium and these are the result of the paper so let me share them let me share them in one screen so that you can compare the results so this dotted is the uh, this dotted one is the paper results while this uh, the, the the right one the right dotted one is the fem UV du mat and the left one the red curve is the abacus model you can compare them uh, and you can see that the peak is almost closed by like by further refinement and by further uh, meshing and by taking more nodes into into the consideration while plotting this uh, curve we can get as close to as uh, to the original result as possible the detail of this model you can the detail of this model i will tell you that how to down, how you can download and purchase this complete tutorial uh, let me show you the that how you can purchase this complete tutorial in order to uh, purchase the purchase this video you have to visit my website arslan and double a dot com and uh, let me give you a short overview of my website we provide services related to these different software i hope you will visit my website in order to get a better idea of my work and then we need to scroll to design and simulation project after that this page will appear this is the model uh, of modeling a fiber laminate composite fml using the subroutine video map uh, the price of the project is complete tutorial with us dollar 100 and then uh, you can contact me for the set project using my whatsapp page i am available uh, 24 by 7 on my whatsapp also you can contact me by visiting my con uh, con by visiting and filling this contact us form uh, you can sh share your name email address and the title of the project and i, I, I will and you will get a response within uh, hour or maybe two uh, uh, regarding the files and the tutorials so thank you very much for your time i hope i can i will come up with uh, a better project and a new idea next time thank you